Hello, welcome to the Stubborn Tortoise Podcast. I'm Donna Pazdera. I'm coming to you live from my living room this afternoon on Sunday, um, wearing my Rocky 50 t-shirt, uh, or not, well, long sleeve tech shirt. And uh, for those of you <laughs> who watch this thing on uh, YouTube or Spotify, that little baby video. Uh, anyway, um, oh no, my cat's coming around. Oh dear God, no. Oh good, he's staying over there. Anyway, uh, so today was really, really fun. Um, got a couple of things I'm going to talk about, but um, and it's just a me episode this week. Um, I tried to get some other people involved, but schedules weren't quite working out. And I for some reason, I really like recording these like around three o'clock on Sunday. And so that's what I'm doing. So, um, well, also because the house is quiet at this time. So, um, but yeah, this morning, uh, we did a birthday run for me. The... <laughs> um, of course, my birthday was eight days ago. Um, but who cares? Uh, the thing I've discovered about my birthday, especially being in February, is that it ends up being celebrated the entire month. In fact, my sister said that she still needs to send me my gift. Um, and I'm like, that's fine. I don't care. You know, I mean, I'm used to this, you know. But um, but anyway, so today I uh, I have not seen my friends for uh, probably since Brazos Ben, which was like in beginning of December. And, um, and I haven't seen... So it was Maria and Rebecca and Karen. Um, Karen, I haven't seen for quite a while. And um, unfortunately, Vivian could not join us today due to a, uh, a death in the family. And um, But we kind of met up around eight o'clock. <laughs> Love this time of year only because you can start your runs late. Um, and we uh, ran, I don't know, about four miles and, uh, and really... It was a run walk, um, but I actually ran a little yesterday too uh, on Saturday and just, I haven't run all week because my quads were just sort of like, I, I, <laughs> I'd actually forgotten how it feels after an ultra. Um, and of course, especially one that we haven't properly trained. Um, I, uh, <laughs> such an idiot, but yeah, I won't be doing that again. I learned that lesson. Um, but I, uh, yeah, I did. I did run a little bit yesterday. I did a couple of bike rides, you know, indoor bike rides this week. So, you know, it was like I was completely sedentary or something, but, um, but I did, uh, yeah, I ran a little yesterday and then I ran with the girls this morning. Um, we met up at the zoo and, um, which is one of our favorite places <laughs> trying to get all of us together at one place. And then people don't know each other's cars and so we're all texting each other like where are you and you know and little did i know karen and <laughs> karen's vehicle and my vehicle were separated by this blue car sitting in the middle that i did not see her vehicle on the other whoa sorry <laughs> did not see her vehicle on the other side i may have to hold this thing um it's probably time for a new microphone uh or i just need to figure out how to properly make this work um anyway um yeah so we we did you know, two out, two back. And uh, then we, uh, and I ran, <laughs> this is kind of funny too. So this group of people running toward us, thank God I was running at the time. Um, and uh, it was my friend, Anthony, um, who used to take my cycling, my indoor cycling classes. And until I stopped teaching them in the evenings, um, <laughs> although I may be going back to that soon. Um, but anyway, uh, yes, yeah, so I saw him and we're like, yeah, and then he's like, oh, hey, and he like did this little turnaround and came back and we talked for, you know, 30 seconds or something. And I'm like, I might be coming back. So hang on. And he was telling me about a book he's writing and, and you know, stuff like that. And yeah, so it's kind of cool. He's he's an interesting person and um, just tries. Um, <laughs> of course, the girls were all like, well, you should go out with him. And I'm like, oh, I don't know about that. You know, I mean. Oh, anyway, I'm not going to talk about this. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah, he's cute and he's interesting and all that sort of thing. But I'm just kind of like, eh. I don't know. Sometimes I'm kind of gun shy. I've had really bad luck with 
guys in the last 20 years. <laughs> anyway, God, that's another podcast. Okay, not this one. Um, but anyway, yeah, but it was nice seeing him. And yeah, hopefully I can get back and get into the groove, uh, you know, in the evenings again, because uh, my 6.15 a.m. class on Wednesdays is just not really happening too well um you know and getting like two or three people at best you know so it's like oof, you know <laughs> the people at the y are very very generous and letting me keep you know doing this but i think that time is about to run out so anyway we'll see um but anyway yeah so we yeah so we all ran got to catch up with each other which was really nice because again i haven't seen these ladies in a while and they're pretty much my core group i mean they're they're my uh, you know, my, my go-to group, you know, in terms of pace and attitude and whatnot. And, um, I mean, I have other friends that I run with and that I equally like, but this seems to be the group that I've gelled with the most. Um, you know, mainly cause we're all sort of the same age. I mean, I'm the oldest, but you know, uh, uh, one you know, Karen's like 50 at least. Um, Rebecca's about to be 50 next year. Maria's got a few years, <laughs> but you know, like it's kind of cool, but uh, yeah. So we uh, went over to this place called Tycoon Flats, which is off of St. Mary's uh, in San Antonio and um, had brunch and my goodness, they gave me gifts and I was very surprised. And I mean, not that I didn't, <laughs> I mean, my friends are lovely, but I was not expecting or asking for anything, but um, it was very lovely. And um yeah, it was a very special morning for me, and I, I really enjoyed, you know, hanging out with them. I'm, God, we were probably there for like two hours, um, you know, you know, eating and gabbing and things like that. And um, yeah, and, and it was just fun. I felt like we're, <laughs> I told them, I'm like, I feel like we're maybe like in a comedy series or something, you know, because it was like some of the stupid stuff we were talking about, you know, and it's like girl talk. It's just silly things but uh you know we it's it's nice it's just it's really really nice to finally have a group of people that i connect with fairly similar in age and abilities and things like that and uh, oh yeah <laughs> this just in uh oh cat sorry that was <laughs> the loud one um you're just gonna have to wait okay i'm sorry and he's looking at me with these eyes like his name is P, short for Pee Wee. He's 14. He'll be 15 this summer. Oh, I know. Anyway, um, let me get through this, okay? Give me a little bit. Anyway, uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. So the thing that Karen and I, yeah, well, because we were the first ones there, and she was asking me about Rocky Raccoon, and um, her husband had done, I think, Rocky 100. I think this year and um yeah so she paced him on a loop and she's like man i really want to do that one i'm like you know what let's do the 100k next year throwing down the gauntlet you know she's like yeah that would be great and so of course by the time maria and rebecca get there <laughs> i'm like hey guess what we're gonna do <laughs> and so i think I mean, I always have these big ideas at the beginning of the year, you know, and of course it's like, well, crap, it's almost a year away. So I can change between now and then. But as I told them this morning, I'm like, you know, I think if we are kind of banding together as a group to do this thing, I think it's going to happen. And uh, so I would have my first official uh, 100K. And um, I mean, I've done 100K before, but it was that was like a snowdrop and that was sort of with a few hours of sleep in between and you know a little different um i have no idea why i want to torture myself you know by going you know what 62 miles or whatever it is um you know on that course <laughs> that i endured last year or last week um you know oh yeah my finger is still a little swollen but not too bad but it looks like i'm going to keep my my uh, nail so Anyway, sorry, making a little hand hand puppets. Um, for those of you watching on video, I know, isn't it so exciting and extraordinary? Um, yeah, so that's that's our plan. So hopefully we'll be able to keep each other accountable for that. And uh, 
I, I still think I got a couple ultras left in me and I keep saying this and it's like, yeah, I know until they like carry out my dead body off the course or something, I think I'm going to keep doing this stuff. Um, I mean, I'm no Nancy Marks. Nancy Marks is just, you know, crazy, <laughs> but she's also crazy talented. And um, she won the Lake Georgetown double marathon yesterday um, in like, which is like 54 miles. Um, and she did it in like 12 hours and change. I mean, it was like, wow, that's pretty amazing. I mean, that's kind of like her backyard. She always runs out there, but that's not an easy course uh, from what I'm told. And uh, yeah, so she did uh, quite well and go Nancy. She's a year older than me. So I, I always feel like, okay, if Nancy can do this, maybe I can. <laughs> But um, anyway, yeah, so that's what's going on, uh, you know, in, in my running life. Uh, hopefully this week I'll try to get back at it a little bit. Uh, the weather here has been sort of bizarre. Um, it will be, you know, 80 one day or two days, and then it'll go down into the 40s or 30s. And then you're just like, oh, my God, it's, <laughs> I can't stand it. It's like I'm just ready for it to just even out and be spring. OK, that's really what I want. Is that asking too much? I'm, you know, I keep <laughs> keep looking at the branches on the trees and hoping that um, maybe some buds will start appearing. And I'm really hoping in the next couple of weeks that's going to happen because the time changes in a couple of weeks. Yes, uh, I'm very excited about that. And um, yeah, so you know, so we'll see how this all goes. Um, but yeah, I mean, I know before long I'll be whining about the heat, but you know, it's funny, even last year when it was hot, I did not complain. I mean, I may have, you know, whined a little bit, but not too much, you know, because I remember what that felt like <laughs> a year ago. And, oh, that was awful. And, oh, my God, and I got my electric bill for our mini freeze this year. Insane. More than I've ever had to pay before. And so, yeah, Texas straighten yourselves out come on really <laughs> i moved here for the weather but not that weather okay um anyway uh so what i really wanted to talk about today well i mean this morning was lovely and it was uh wow i'm hearing a seagull outside that's crazy i know every week it's something you know because i have my front door open and and my screen door you know I don't know if anybody can hear that, but I don't know if this microphone is that good, but yes, there's definitely a seagull out there. Um, so it was funny because Tiffany, the woman that I met last week uh, at Rocky, um, she does not have a sports watch. And so she was asking me about my sports watch, which is the Sunto Ambit 3 Sport, uh, which is this lovely kind of melon color, not melancholy, melon color. <laughs> um, I got this thing about seven years ago. Uh, yeah, the first race I did uh, with it was, um, I was supposed to be doing the 60K. You, some of you have already heard this story, so I won't belabor it, but um, I was doing the 60K at Reveille Peak Ranch and um, really didn't know how to work the watch because it's not user-friendly like a Garmin. And, um, so I, and then not only I was dealing with that, and then I was also dealing with new shoes. Okay, you know, two cardinal sins that you do not, or, you know, both of these were cardinal sins. I was using new shoes that I've never really tried out before and a new watch that I've never used before. And yeah, and I paid for that, you know, and uh, with a, you know, a DNF. <laughs> so um, yeah three loops each one 12 miles and change but the first one already took me four hours and uh you only had i only had eight hours left to do two more and i was like uh-uh you know you aren't going to be able to finish the rest of this you know so um and and the shoes were just sort of there are these very bouncy vibram soles and uh it's like bouncing off of rocks and crashing down onto the ground and yeah i, I felt like i was in clown shoes and they were like you know, at least a size and a half too big for me. And yeah, it was just God, it was just a very, very bad night. But anyway, we don't, we don't need to re revisit that. But anyway, so I got this, the Sunto uh, Ambit Sport 3. Um, a lot of the reason I got this one um, was because, well, the price wasn't bad, 
but it's also a multi-sport watch so you can swim with it you can cycle with it and let's face it right now i'm not really doing any serious cycling because i don't really have a road bike or anything anymore so it's sort of like well i'll just do what i can <laughs> um yeah and uh i mean i've got my fixie that i try to ride like a road bike um which i i think i do okay but uh anyway and uh my swimming is is pathetic <laughs> so uh, anyway so so last week well let's let's back up a little bit so you know, for the last several couple of months or so I've been having a lot of trouble like connecting to the GPS because like it used to just sort of like, you know, connect to the GPS, boom, you're there. You know, and these would be places that I always go, but it's been struggling to, you know, find it. So there was that. And then it was also struggling to um, pair with my phone. Um, and then <laughs> the, the death knell was last week when I was at my race, you know, the watch quit like, seven hours in and i'm just and it was fully charged and so i'm like you know what i guess it's time to get a battery for this you know rechargeable watch well i discovered that it does not <laughs> you can't replace a rechargeable battery on this thing or at least not that i've been able to figure out um i did order <laughs> this is funny i ordered a battery on amazon because i thought oh i can you know because that's what it said it was for but guess what it was for the you know the chest strap for the heart rate monitor which i don't have there's only a couple of bucks but the funny thing is is i returned it or i you know asked for a refund refund um from amazon and they're like just don't even bother sending it back just we'll give you the money back so i was like all right cool but that led me to I bite the bullet man I, I mean i i need you know i live and die by my you know sports watch and so um you know i sat there i looked at a variety of brands and i really you know for my needs okay now here's the thing this is about my needs um because it is all about me uh but yeah i i i decided that really all i need is something that's got a really good battery life because i'm you know slower than hell and um you know because the 250 milers i've done it it dies like around you know 13 hours and it usually takes me about 14 and a half um yeah <laughs> sorry but anyway um and i just need to like you know do the gps thing so i can you know hook it into strava because you know you live and die by strava if you are serious about this you know or just competitive with yourself um which i am and um you know, I, I really didn't care about all the other bells and whistles because um, I don't need music, you know, to be able to listen to my music on it. For a while, I, I tried an um, Apple Watch. I've actually tried that twice. Doesn't work. Um, what's nice about this, I, okay, I ordered the Sunto 5 <laughs> because it's gone that far, you know, in models. And uh, what I like about that one is it's, not super expensive. I mean, I think it was, I can't remember how much I paid for it. I haven't gotten it yet. Um, but I want to say it's less than $300. Okay. So it's not like, you know, oh, yeah. I mean, cause there are some of these watches you can spend like, you know, a thousand dollars if you really are, you know, doing a lot of different sports and whatnot. So yeah, I, I don't know. I, you know, for me, it's just running, you know, so, or at least that's the one thing I care about. Um, but it also has a wrist uh, based uh, heart rate monitor, which I love because I have this other thing. It's a, God, I forget the name of the, I forget the brand name, but I've got this little smart, it's sort of a smart watch. I mean, I don't, I do not, please, I don't want emails or text messages or any of that other crap on my watch when I'm out for a run. Okay. It's like, no, leave me alone, go away. In fact, I put my phone on it's called focus which i can crank on the do not disturb and i can um just be blissfully ignorant of anyone trying to contact me during that time and um and i like that but i also use my phone for my music and stuff like that and i've got those um of course they're they're out in my car but i've got the um air headphones uh, this is the case 
in case anyone cares. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, so I ordered that thing because it's like it seemed pretty much like what I need. Uh, and again, everyone's needs are very different. I mean, I was talking to my neighbor uh, this afternoon. Um, and he's a young guy. He's like 23 or something. And, you know, he's he's overweight and he knows it. Um, and he was like, I really want to <laughs> just kind of funny. It's like, I really want to look like you. <laughs> I'm like, wow, <laughs> do you really want to look like a girl? Uh, <laughs> but I, I, I knew what he meant. You know, he's like, I like to try running, you know, and I'm like, yeah, you, you should do the walk run thing and, you know, get, you know, get one of those little step counter things and you can do walk run, you know, count your steps every day. Cause he works um, in uh, commercial lawn maintenance. And so he's you know, doing a lot of you know, looping and stuff. And there's a lot of steps involved. So again, you know, a lot of this stuff is time on your feet. And so I was just kind of like, yeah, you should definitely do that. And I was trying to <laughs> recruit him to drag him up to, uh, you know, some races uh, to volunteer even. Um, and I think I can work on him with that. But, uh, you know, as long as his parents don't think I'm kidnapping him. <laughs> but, uh, no, they're great. They're, yeah, and he's a good kid. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's how it starts. That's how it starts. Uh, but yeah, so I, you know, I was like, yeah, just get like a little sports watch. And then, you know, that way you can kind of keep track of what you're doing. And, you know, before long, you, you know, give yourself a few months, but, you know, you could do a 5K, you know, and, and I, of course that's the, the entry level drug, you know, and that's how this all starts. So anyway, um, yeah, so my Sunto watch, you know, seven years old. I don't know. I'm not really sure if this is, you know, uh, a good length of time, you know, for a, a rechargeable battery, you know, because you're constantly recharging it and stuff like that. Um, oh yeah, my very first sports watch was. We used to joke because it, it looked like a like a small laptop. <laughs> it was one of those know, Garmin 360. I don't know. It was pro that's probably the wrong mo model number, but it was like this orange and black thing, you know, or gray. And uh, my friend Jesse had given it to me because uh, he had an extra and you know, I was like, all right, I'll take it, you know, um, and it was great. But then the strap broke and I was really having a hard time uh, replacing that strap. And so I decided to go with the Sunto. And uh, yeah, so, I mean, there's a lot of brands just I mean, I think you just have I think my bottom line on this is that you need to find what fits your needs. Um, like I say, for me, the big deal is battery life because I do want to keep, <laughs> even though I keep saying I'm not going to, uh, I do want to keep doing, um, you know, some ultras here and there. And I need that battery to last a long time because it, you know, I ain't fast. And um, so I want to be able to do that. And then um, I don't care about the music on there because again, that kills the battery life. Um, you know, you want it to be somewhat attractive. I mean, I always got compliments on this thing, you know, for the color and, um, there. um, but yeah. And, you know, it, I will say this about Sunto. Um, it has a bit of a learning curve on it in terms of just being able to figure it out. It is not intuitive like a Garmin. Um, I find Garmin to be a lot easier to figure out on the first try. It took me a little while to, they have this, well, they used to have this thing called Moves Count, which was the software that you had to upload like on your phone or somewhere um, to pair your watch, you know, with, and it's just like, I didn't understand that, you know, it was, it's, you know, it's not intuitive. It's not like, you know, it's called Garmin Connect, you know, or something. Um, I think they've since just moved it to a, uh, an app called Sunto and uh, it's S-U-U-N-T-O, by the way, if anybody wants to play at home. Um, but yeah, that, that's, so I'll let you know probably in the next week or so how this thing seems to be working out and if it passes muster. Um, oh, I know what the brand name is of the smartwatch, the steel watch uh, is Wittings, W-I-T-T-I-N-G-S. Um, I think I've talked about this before. The only reason I got this, well, a couple reasons. I, I, I'm really weird. I'm very old school. I like to have a watch so I know what time it is. I know a lot of people use their you know, phones or whatever, but I like to have a watch, but I... I tried the Apple watch and I just found it annoying and expensive. And I was just like, nope, nope, nope. And I got this for like 199 or something like that. And, um, but it does it, you can do sport mode. So you can do running, cycling, swimming, or workout. 
and uh, it will uh, also monitor your heart rate. And so I, I really like that. So when I teach my indoor cycling classes, um, it does give me an idea of like where my heart rate's going. Cause um, again, I'm teaching these high intensity interval classes and um, you know, it's kind of nice to see how high can I go? Uh, <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I think that's, that's the bottom line on, you know, my advice for you today is just, I think you have to think about what you really want the watch for and not listen to what all your friends have and all that sort of thing. You know, think about what your uh, reasons are for having the watch uh, and then just kind of keep looking around. I mean, I know there's a lot of guides out there um, that will, you know, give you some insight into, you know, why they like certain watches. But again, sometimes my criteria are very different from theirs. And so I'm not really keen on you know lining up with what maybe runner's world or somewhere you know is saying so um and i think I'm trying to remember what the, i can't remember what the battery life on this new one is i'll let you know next week um yeah so yeah i'm gonna try to run a little bit more this coming week again it's, it's gonna be like 85 tomorrow i think like almost 90 on tuesday and then it's gonna yeah you know, get weird again and then we're in that period you know it just kind of you know, up and down, you know, and of course, you know, it's still allergy. It's always allergy season for me, but yeah. So I've been kind of feeling, you know, uh, uh, but yeah, I'm hoping that, you know, in a few weeks that, you know, it's going to start, you know, uh, smoothing out and we'll just be at this point where it's like, okay, do I have to run the heat in the morning and the AC in the afternoon? Or can we just like, you know, not do anything? <laughs> Cause I'm really trying to, you know, budget my, uh, you know, electricity bill. Oh boy, that was bad. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what it was. <laughs> it was almost $300. And I mean, I have a 12,000, 12,000, 1200, 12,000 foot square foot place. But this whole area here um, and in my kitchen is very wide open. And I think I have the original 1931 <laughs> windows. <laughs> I'm very drafty. And uh, yeah, the back of the house is okay because that's where the bedrooms and the bathroom are. And, and so that's not so bad because it stays fairly warm. But but the problem is, is I can't like set the thermostat to something low for the bedrooms because then you come out into this part of the house and then it's just like, oh my God, I'm freezing to death. You know, so I need to get some insulation um, happening. And I, I mean, I've got a lead, so I mean, I'm good on it. It's just, I've been lazy. <laughs> So, um, I think that's all I've got for now. I'll see you next time. Have a good week.